Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we talk about Windows 11 launch. Yes, um, it is gradually coming out. So if you've got a brand new machine, um, you may be getting an option uh, on Windows 10 um, to uh, upgrade. So if you go to your settings and you go to updates and security, and then you go to optional updates. Um, it will eventually be there. So it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow. Well, they're rolling it out clear until middle of 2022. And that's so that their servers don't get overloaded and they've got all kinds of problems because of that. So they start with the newer machines first because there's less hiccups, less crashing with the newer machines with Windows 11. Um, and this is um, what has um, caused um, the delay in approval for CPUs. Now, the August 27th was the last time they updated AMD and Intel CPU list for, for um, approval to, to run with Windows 11. And um, I will put into this video right now any updates in the next little while? Otherwise, um, what I'll do is I'll try and come into the um, description of the video, add in some information um, as we go. I'll, I'll go through my list of, of Windows um, 11 um, um, topics uh, through my videos and add that into the description. So basically, once I make a video, that's pretty much it. I can't, I either have to delete the video and take it down and then lose all the the um the work the video has done as far as views and watch time and all that so um, basically make a video and it stays there and what i can do is i can change um the the titles wording in the title i can change um then the description um as well so um have a look in descriptions i'll post a new video um as soon as um there is an up update or news in regards to more uh, CPUs being approved. Um, and if you, if, if, if you do subscribe, then that basically will bring it to your attention a bit easier uh, when you go into your YouTube um, and you're logged into your YouTube. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, but uh, being subscribed will help um, with, with uh, getting the news. Okay, Windows 10, you can use that up until uh, 2025, middle of 2025, I believe, so for four more years. Um, if it's working fine on your, your computer and you've, yeah, and uh, you don't have all the 
requirements to, to upgrade to Windows 11, well, don't panic. It's no big deal. It's not like Windows 11 is going to make your games faster. As far as I know, it does not. If anything, there might be a few games that go a little bit slower. So if you just want to just, you know, make sure everything's going to work, then, um, yeah, that's your choice. That's your decision. Um, and there's um, obviously with Windows 11, they're more security conscious. Um, there's some security technology um, that may, might make it, um, you know, more difficult for hackers and that kind of thing and cheaters. Um, but we'll just have to uh, wait and see. Um, and uh, um, you can go to the, uh, I'll put a link in the description below as far as the PC um, health check to see where you are as far as having um, the requirements to um, upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, so this is the Microsoft tool that has become available again. Uh, so you can use that. And um, um, there's also, you know, the, the Why Not Win 11 from um, GitHub um, that um, tests it as well and then they up as soon as CPU approvals happen, then they, they update that tool as well. Um, but yeah, it's up to you how you want to do it. You might as well do the health check. With the, uh, the PC health check from Microsoft, um, it gives you more details now. Um, I, I'm sorry, but I don't know if um, once you use that tool, if it sends that data back through to Microsoft. I, I, I don't know for sure on that one. Um, so if you went and used the other tool, the GitHub, then you know that that's not communicating with Microsoft um, regarding um, the status of your computer. So, so basically, if you don't have an approved CPU, and you know that, um, and in your Windows update, it gives you the option to upgrade to Windows 11, and you go and try and do that, uh, my understanding what's going to happen is then Microsoft will say, wait, 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 oh, sorry, we can't upgrade your computer because you don't have an approved CPU. And then, boom, then you'll, yeah. So, um, um, yeah, let's just take it slowly, a step at a time. I wouldn't rush into these things. Um, and there's nothing spectacular about Windows 11. Um, that's, you know, that you got to have it, you know, you know what I mean? So anyways, uh, thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video. Hey, no, no.